Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have great question k cubed minus k square equal to 18. We need to solve this equation for k, so if you have your solution, your answer, you can also write it in the comments below and then we will check it. So right now let's start. First of all, I just want to rewrite this question in a different order. I just want to write this 18 on the left side, of course with the negative sign, okay? So let's do it. So we have k cubed minus k square and minus 18 equal to 0. So I really hope you understand. Very basic, very basic step. The next thing, instead of this 18, let's write 27 minus 9. Right here we have third power, right here we have second power, and 27 and 9 are also great can stand to express us in terms of cubes and squares. So let's do it. So we have k cube minus k square, and minus, instead of, 20, instead of this 18, we write 27, 27 minus minus 9 equal to 0. And a lot of students might be asking why 27 minus 9? Why not like 20 minus 2? Just look at it. Just just wait like a few seconds. Uh, the next thing, let's open parentheses. So we have k cube minus k square minus 27 and plus plus 9. And why do this, why this constant are great for us? Because 27 can be written as 3 cube. Yeah. So right here, I just want to write it, for example, on the left side. So 27 can be written as 3, 3 cube. And 9 can be also written in terms of base of 3, so we can write it as 3, 3 square. And these are also really great expressions, because right here we have third power and right here second. So then we can group something, okay? So let's do this. So we have k cube minus k square minus 3 cube, 27 equal to 3 cube, and plus, plus, 3 square plus 3 square. And right now, I really hope you understand it. Of course, we can do this instantly without these two lines, but maybe a lot of students here, so that's why I do this step by step, and I really wanted, wanted you to understand this uh, solution. The next thing, k cube and 3 cube and k square and 3 square. Let's group cubes and squares. Let's do this. So first of all, we have cubes, so k cube, k cube minus 3 cube, k cube minus 3 cube. This is our first parenthesis and second parenthesis. So we have minus k square minus 3 square, okay, equal to equal to 0. Okay, this is our, this is our uh, expression. What are we going to do next? If you look closely, like from a different perspective, right here we have a difference of cubes and right here we have difference of squares. We really need to know this uh, school formula. So I just want you to, to know it, to learn it, to remember it. So difference of cubes, a cube minus b cube minus b cube equal to a minus b, a minus b times, right here we have a square plus a b and plus b square, plus b, b square. Really great. And right now the second formula, maybe all known formula, everyone knows about this one, difference of squares. So we have a square minus minus b square. Really great. So as a result, what do we have? A minus b, a plus b. So I think this one, everyone knows about this uh, formula. A minus b, a, a plus b. Really great. And right now, let's apply this formula. Difference of cubes we have right here. We can expand it in terms of this formula. And difference of squares we can expand in terms of uh, this formula. Let's do this. So I just want to start on the left side. So we have k minus 3. Yeah, so we have k minus 3. And k square, k square, plus 3k and plus 9, plus 9, yeah, and minus, in the second formula, difference of squares of k minus 3 and k plus 3, k plus 3 equal to zero. So I really hope you understand my solution until this moment. This was not like the, were not the hard moments, to be honest, so basic thing, we just need to factor it. So that's why we need to know this formula. So I really hope you understand it. But if you still have any question, write a question in the comments below. Okay, k minus three right here and k minus three right here, we can easily factor, factor as a comment. So let's do it right now. So we have k minus 3, we're going to factor it. And in another parenthesis, what do we have? k square plus 3k plus 9. This is our first parenthesis. So k square plus 3k and plus 9. And in the second parenthesis, we have minus k plus 3 right here. Yeah, minus k plus 3. 
Okay, our final step, of course, we can just simplify this more, we can k okay, minus 3, but these parentheses we can, we can simplify, we can open parentheses, uh, right here we have negative sign, we can open it with the, ne with the negative, so let's do it, okay? We can actually get rid of these parentheses, because we have a positive sign in the beginning, so we have k minus 3. And in another parenthesis, this one, we can actually get rid of our parenthesis, so we have k square plus 3k and plus 9. Right here we have minus k and minus minus 3 equal to 0. Okay, really great. Uh, what we're going to do next? Of course, we can simplify something. We can simplify, we can add 3k minus k and we can uh, subtract 9 minus 3. So let's do it. So we have k minus 3. Uh, so we have k minus 3. And in another parenthesis, k square, 3k minus k plus 2k and 9 minus 3 plus 6, yeah, plus 6. And we can easily be proud of ourselves that we factor our question, we have a product of two parentheses. And in conclusion, this is our like, third part of uh, out, of out of 3, yeah, our last part, we just need to solve this uh, equation. But we have a factor, we have two factor, we have two parentheses, and a product of two parentheses equal to 0, when the first parenthesis is equal to 0, so k minus 3 is equal to 0, or the second parenthesis is equal to 0, k square plus 2k and plus 6, plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, we have two, two branches, okay, right here we have maybe one root, maybe right here we have two roots, I don't know exactly, but right now let's solve it. First of all, instantly, we can solve this uh, linear equation, k minus 3 equal to 0, so k first is equal to 3. This is our real, real number root, we can easily write that this is our first root, k first equal to 3. What about this branch? Right here, maybe we have two more roots, yeah? So because this is a quadratic equation. So that's why let's start with the basic method of coefficients. Let's solve this question with this basic method. So a equal to 1, b equal to 2, and c equal to 6. Let's start, for example, with discriminant. I prefer solving this, this quadratic equation with discriminant. Of course, this is up to you. Of course, let's do it. So discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. So b square equal to uh, 2 square minus 4 times a times 1 times c times 6 equal to. So we have 4 minus 24. And our discriminant right here is less than 0. So we have minus 20. And you know, a lot of students might be thinking, might be saying, uh, okay, right here we don't have roots. And um, this is not a fully correct statement because right here, of course, we don't have roots, but we don't have real number roots. Okay, we don't have real number roots, but we have two complex roots. And just remember one really interesting, uh, really important tip. Maybe a lot of a lot of students here. Uh, so when a discriminant is positive, yeah, it's greater than zero. Then we have two two roots. When discriminant is equal to zero, we have only one root. And when discriminant is less than the zero, so right here we have two two roots, of course, but two complex two complex roots. Okay, this is like a quick reminder, quick a uh, quick tip for you. Maybe you you have a problems with that. Okay, right now let's find these two two complex roots because our discriminant is negative. So let's do it. So k second and third, because we already have this first one, equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant, and lower lower to a. Okay, really great. And right here, let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. We know coefficients, we know discriminant, so we have minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 20 and all over 2 times a, so 2 times 2 times 1. Right now, let's simplify real quick our square root of minus 20. We can easily do this, we can we can expand it, uh, like in terms of multiplication, we can write it as uh, 4 times 5 and times minus 1. So we have minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 times 5 and times minus 1, okay, all over, all over 2. And uh, there's like a really great property, so we can actually write it like that, so minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of 5 and times square root of minus minus 1, we can easily do this. And right now square root of 4 equal to uh, 2, and square root of minus 1 equal to i. So this is our imaginary unit. So in the numerator, in our numerator, we have minus 2 plus minus 2i square root of 5. 2i square root of 5. All over, all over 2. 
And a lot of students prefer like splitting this expression by real part and imaginary part. Of course, let's do it. So we can we can actually divide our numerator by two. So we have minus two over two plus minus two i square root of five over two. And that's why right here we have real part and imaginary part. But we can simplify this minus two my uh, over two equal to minus one. So we have minus one plus minus i square root of five. Yeah, plus minus i square root of 5. So these are our complex roots. So let's gather all these roots together and let's write our final answer. For example, let's do it right here on the right side. So our answer, our answer. So k first equal to 3, k second equal to minus 1 plus i square root of 5, and k third equal to minus 1 minus i square root of 5. Yeah, so we we solve this question. So these two roots are complex roots, complex roots, and this one root is the first root is real real number root. In conclusion, in the end, right now let's uh, so let's check real quick our k equal to three. So that's why I just want to rewrite this equation from the beginning. So k cube minus uh, k square equal to equal to eighteen. Okay, and right now let's check this uh, k equal to equal to three. And everything is great because when k equal to three, we have three cube minus three square equal to eighteen. And everything is great because twenty seven minus nine equal to equal to eighteen. So our root is absolutely great for us. And it was my solution. I really hope you understand it. But I want to say a few really important tips, really briefly, like for a few seconds, because a lot of students might be thinking, okay, let's try to solve this equation uh, instantly by inspection, because when k equal to one, this is not good. When k equal to two, this is not a correct expression. But k equal to three, we have Mm, a correct expression. So that's why k equal to 3 is a correct answer. Of course, this is a correct answer, but you forget about the second branch, uh, extremely important branch, branch of complex numbers. And with the inspection method, you can't find this k second and k third. Extremely important uh, moment right now, yeah? So that's why my quick recommendation, if you have Mm, equation just use fundamental theorem of algebra how does it uh, how um, does it uh, theorem looks like uh, i want to say you like in very simple words because uh, a lot of a lot of students like don't like this uh, how does it for how does the theorem looks like a uh, quick recommendation so just scan what is the highest power in your equation for example right here k square plus 2k plus 6 equal to 0 okay right here what is the highest power 2 so it means that you will have two roots in total and exactly that that case we have two two complex roots what about this one what is the highest power k equal to uh, highest power is first so we have only one root right here we have a cubic equation so it means three roots in total so a quick recommendation and if you're sitting in your exam you can easily be proud of yourself that you can easily instantly scan how many roots do you have okay because when you have x to the power five for example it means that you have five roots in total so it's not good to solve this question with only one one root so maybe something something you lost okay so you have to review your your basic uh, your basic mass. So it was my quick hints, few uh, few really uh, great tricks for you. So every time you have a, a, an equation, just use this uh, fundamental theorem of algebra. And of course, in our question, we can easily use this because k cube it means three roots in total. We don't know how many real numbers, how many complex. We can have like one real, two complex, two complex, one real. A lot of a lot of different uh, combination. But basically, I really hope you understand what what I mean. So it was my solution to this question. Also write your, uh, write your notes, write your assumption in the comments below. Maybe you have your method, like a lot of methods, how can we solve this cubic equation? I'm going to show you this one. Maybe a lot of students here who are struggling with the, with the basic math or pre-algebra concept. Right here we have step-by-step -step solution. So all you need from here just to see this trick to, to group cubes and squares. Secondly, you just need uh, just need to know these two formulas and in the end just basic uh, basic calculations, basic uh, discriminant quadratic equation and in the end we have our answer and this is our full answer because according to a fundamental theorem of algebra we have three roots in total and this is our proof. Three roots we have 
on the on the right side at this place so i really hope you understand it i really hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel maybe approximately like 600 uh, mass olympiad questions so i really want to say thank you for watching thank you for for being here for and um, for years so it's really important and it's extremely uh, great uh, from you it's really kind of you that you support support my content it's extremely extremely great so i want to say thank you i want to genuinely say thank you for for everything and i hope um, everything will be great on my uh, my channel yeah so wish all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day see you in the next videos